What's up? It's Brandy and I'm here with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to do a rejuvenation, rebirth, and renewal. And you're like, what? <laughs> if you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in and watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Smash the subscribe button so you can get all the latest in tea and video uploads and beauty, fashion, makeup, and lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to do a spring haul clean out. Yes, clean out. You can't fit anything else into your closet. You got to get rid of it. The stuff you've been holding on to two years ago, three years ago, or last year. Stuff you know you don't wear. But for some reason, we like to hold on to things. I don't know why. Like, yeah, I'm going to wear that. Or I could use that. It ain't even in style. The trend went out. And we still got it in our closet. So today, I'm going to, you guys are going to help me decide whether I should keep it or give it away. Now, there's some things I've been holding on to. I like to keep up with the trends and the latest in fashion, but there are some things that I'm like, I got to keep it. I like it. And then I'll go outside and put it on and and look in the mirror and come back. I'm like, why ain't nobody tell me I had this on? Y'all should have said something. Like, oh my goodness. So I'm one of those people. I'll hold on to it. Then I'll put it on and be like, really? They let me walk around? like this all day my friends ain't saying nothing okay that's how we're gonna do this so let's get a chance to go through the closet and see what we got we're gonna start with some shoes first of all um i've had these shoes for quite some time i love them they are cute they got the studs on them the back is straw they zip up they crisscross i think they're adorable but I've been holding on to these for quite some time. I don't care whether they're in style. <laughs> I really don't care. But let's put one on. They are super cute. So I've been holding on. But I think it's time for me to let them go. Let it go. Let it go. And if you can see, let me move back some. Here, let's move, let's move the chair out the way. Let's do that. Well, that ain't even going to help so y'all can even see. But this is what they look like. This shoe, I think, is super cute. Now, I just popped it on and I got a tank top on and a pair of blue jeans. And you can see how it has done something to this little outfit that I have on. So I think the shoe is super cute. Let's move over so you can see. Super cute. But I think it has wore out its welcome. It is time for it to go. So you guys decide whether I should keep it. Or give it. So let's move on to the next. All right. Let's take this one off. And I got about four pairs of shoes over here. Next are these. And Klein. Still in the box. I keep them. They're pretty pink. Got the little ballet shoes. Little heel on them. They're like a pearly color. But I thought these were super cute. I've been holding on to them for quite some time. I think about two, three years I've had them. And I, I don't know. I think it might be time for Ann Klein to pack it up and go. But let's take a look at the shoe. Now, if I had on something pink with it, I'm pretty sure this shoe would pop. So I'm not sure whether I should keep it or not. So you guys tell me whether this is a keep or a giveaway. So... That's the second shoe. All right, let's get on with the third one. And sorry, my shoes are getting tangled up in here. Now, these shoes were trendy a couple years ago. I don't know if I've seen them. They're the ballet um, lace-up ones. They were pretty trendy. I've um, been holding on to two pairs of these. Um, I don't know why. They look kind of cute on, so let's try one on and see. I haven't seen them in the stores, so I'm pretty sure this trend is out. And if I put them on, somebody should have said, girl, you know them shoes played out. But ain't nobody told me that yet, so I'm going to hold on to them. But 
again with a pair of jeans everything looks cute with a pair of jeans and so you can see it's cute it looks cute on my foot but i'm still sketchy on whether i should be wearing these so should they i keep them or give them away all right and i got one more that looks similar to these so let's get this out and these are similar to those they're a little suede faux suede ballet lace up zipping the zipping the back string up and again I've been keeping these for quite some time. I'm pretty sure this trend has gone, has wore out as welcome. But again, let's see if we can get the shoe on. It's a little tight, but I think the shoe is super cute and it looks cute on my foot. That's the thing. Certain things might go out of style, but the shoe is still looking cute on you. And so that's why you hold on to it because you still think it still looks cute and I think it does still look cute on me so let's see now here's what the shoe looks like this one not as cute as the black the black one but I still think it's cute and trendy and I'm gonna keep my sock on y'all but what do you think keep it or give it away so that's the shoe that's the shoe dilemma and I don't really have too many shoes that I have a dilemma with but these four pair and i've already given some away that i was like i ain't keeping those so those four pair i have an issue with now i'm going to leave my sock on we're going to slide back over now we're going to get into some clothes this is a shirt i got from forever 21. now i thought it was super cute i've wore it i've gotten compliments on it you can see it's like a floral tank top you can see through it so you wear it with a tank and i'm going to put it on right quick so you can see but in my opinion i think the shirt might have outworn its welcome but let's put it on and see you guys tell me and it looks cute with again everything looks cute with jeans we're going to move the chair out of the way Everything looks cute with jeans. And so this is the shirt. Nice for the spring, breathable. And I think it's still cute and I like it, but tell me if it's, it's time to give it up. I don't know, I'm torn. So is this a keep or a give? All right, let's move on to the next item. And some stuff I've already like I said, giving away. But that's one. We're going to do some shirts. This one, I'm not even sure where I got it from, but these collars are coming back. These 70s collars, like the 70s psychedelic is sheer. Lots of pattern, but I thought the shirt at the time that I had it, and this is like a couple years old, was cute and trendy and so I kept it and it looks cute on again something else that looks super cute on looks cute with jeans and these collars are what's happening now so the, the collar is trendy I'm not going to fasten it because it's a bit much to fashion but fasten and this is what it looks like I think it's cute but I'm not sure if it has outwore its welcome it looks cute with these jeans. I've never wore it with jeans before. So it does look cute with these jeans now that I'm looking. But you guys tell me whether it's a keep or a give. All right, let's go on to the next one. And I have a couple of dresses too. So I have pants, dresses, a variety of things that I'm thinking I should like give away. But I still like this. So I'm, I'm sketchy on that one. All right, next is this ruffled blouse that I got, I think, from, I'm not sure. I might have ordered this online. And ruffles were popping. Layers are still back in, so this is still trendy. All types of layers. I've got layered dresses. I've done a, a thing on layers. 
and this is something I did. A, I don't know if I ever did this on a video, but it's super cute. It is trendy, but I don't know. I've had it for a couple years. I'm not sure if it still works for me, but I don't know. You guys tell me. Layers are in. Laces in. So this might be a keeper. I don't, might not even need a, a deciding point. So I think I'm going to just keep this one. We're going to decide already. It's a keeper, but leave your comments below to tell me whether you think I should. I think it's adorable. So I'm going to keep it. All right. Let's get on with the next. And the next is this floral. And I think I got this from Forever 21. It's cute. I just don't know. It's kind of high-waisted. It's a lot of effort for the shirt to stay down. I know it's supposed to be like a belly shirt, but I'm not into like things that are belly. And it was cute when I got it, but I don't know, guys. I like the color for spring. I've only had it a year. But again, you see, it's a belly shirt. I don't wear belly shirts. I'm not into belly shirts. But I would wear it like this. So you tell me. I think it's cute, but should it keep it or give it away? Help me decide. I'm torn. This one, I'm torn. So I don't know. You could probably wear some high-waisted jeans with it. Not sure on that one. Uh, another one, this was trendy last year, tie-dye. I haven't seen it that much this year. This was actually a dress. And I wore it as a top with a jacket. So tie-dye has an, I thought it was cute. Um, it could be something just to run around in. Wear it over some jeans with some flip-flops. Just not sure whether I should be keeping it because, again, it is not the trend setter of this year. This was last year's trend. And so it's something to run around in, something to keep you cool in the summer and spring. So you guys tell me whether I should keep it or give it away. Tie-dye, dress, shirt. Leave your comments below. I don't want to go out the house and they say, girl, why you got that tie-dye on? You know that was last year's trend. Quit playing with us. Okay, now here's my little dress. Let me get into some dresses. And this dress, I always think is super cute. I get compliments on it, but I think it has outworn. It's welcome for me. Um, I don't know. Every time I put it on, I'll be like, oh, I should have left that off. And I don't. I'm trying to get it on and it has a button on the side. So I'm not trying to tear it. But... I think it's super cute. I thought it was super cute. Maybe with the right shoes. I can never find the shoes to go with this. And I think that's the issue. I can never find a great pair of shoes to actually go with this little dress. And again, I think it's super cute. But I get compliments. And it's like a linen some kind of linen gauze material and it is lined so for the fall I mean for the spring you can wear it on a day where it's not super hot but I'm still torn on whether I should be keeping this because I seem like I cannot find the proper shoes to go with it so you guys tell me whether it's a keeper or give it away all right let's see what else we got And I'm going to do one more dress that I thought was super cute. Another one that I get compliments on. But when I put it on myself, I'm like, I don't know. I look like it. I should be in the... It's a little bright. It's a sundress. It's cute. But again, you can see it's just a little dress with a ruffles. Ruffles are in. So it is trendy. That's the thing. Some of this stuff is trendy, but when I put it on, I'm like, I don't know if I really like it on me. Is it too much, too bold, too bright? 
and it has a little belt but when i put it on people think it's super cute that's the thing i get compliments on it and you know what i'm gonna take that sock off because it's getting it's going to on my nerves and we're going to roll our pants up. So I'm not sure. Ruffles are in, layers are in, and I'm just not sure whether this is way too much for me and it should be going. I've had this dress for two years and I think I got this off some Chinese website. I thought it was super cute when I got it, nice and colorful for the spring and summer. But you tell me, is this a keep or a give it away? And when I do give this stuff away, I'm normally giving it away to, um, there's a veterans organization that I give it away, a St. Vincent de Paul. Now you just saw that fall. <laughs> Part of my decor has landed on the floor. Let's put that back up there. The dress is a little sturdy that it knocked that down, but I find organizations to give it to. Now, here's another one that I bought, and I like these pants. I'm not even going to try them on, or maybe I should, so you guys can see them. I bought these last year, and they actually had a jacket that went with it. It was a nice little pantsuit, but I put them on, and again, it's something I thought they were cute. It looks cute, but you can never find the right type of shoes to go with them, so if you want me to try them on, we're going to put the video on hold, and then I'll come right back. Okay, now here's the pants. Now that I've tried them on again, this is the second time I've got these. I got them from um, ASOS.com and I like the pants. So you guys tell me with a white t-shirt and maybe fine, I have some white Michael Kors um, sandals that I can put it on with. I think it's actually the pants are cute. When I had them last year, I didn't think that. I was like, what was I thinking buying these? But I think they're super cute. They fit nice. They're polyester, so I think this is going to be a keeper, but you guys tell me, keep or give away? And I got one more pair of pants, so I'm going to show you those because you can only see them on to tell whether I should keep it or not. So hold on. Okay, and here's the second pair of pants. I like pants that are wild and crazy for the spring, so I like all kind of checks, um, gigam, you name it, flower florals, you got it. I like pants like this. Now, these, again, were ones that I had, and I was like, eh, I'm kind of sketchy on whether I like them or not. But now, again, it's the next year. I got these last year. I think these are from Express. I actually like the pants. But you guys tell me whether these are a keeper or give it away. And I got another pair of pants I want to show you, so hold on. Okay, and here's the third pair of pants. Now, these are Express as well. My animal print jeans, they're torn and straight at the bottom. This is how they came. Super cute. But when I first got these pants, I must have <laughs> gained a couple of pounds. They were sagging. And I'm going to do a 10, 10 gun from um, Project Runway. Hi, those are ill-fitted. So I thought the pants were ill-fitted. And I'm sorry to be digging in my crouch, you guys. But you can see there's like an inch gap in here. And I'm not one to wear pants that have excess in this area so they look ill-fitted but if you if I turn around they have a nice fit in the back but it's like they have this extra material on the pants and so I wear them but I noticed that again I don't like to be doing this with my pants my pants need to be fitted in the area in the groin area I'm sorry they need to be fitted and so I feel like I have to wear a belt when they fit I don't know. To Right now, either I gained a couple of pounds, pulling them up, then they fit in the crotch area, but I don't do ill-fitted clothes. I don't like clothes that are either too small, too big. I like them to fit nice and comfortable, but where I have to be sitting up, pulling my pants up all the time because my crouch is hanging down here. That's not going to work for me. So you guys tell me, as I pull them up, you can see they fit. And I, but that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to be walking around all day pulling my pants up because my groin and my crouch is hanging down here like a dude. So you tell me if you have ill fitted clothes, that's one thing they make and make you feel and look uncomfortable. So if you have things that are ill fitted that don't fit properly, as they say on Project One Way, then you need to 
that's a def definitely giveaway. You got to give it away. But these jeans like now, before, this was last year, I got these last year. These jeans, they always sagged down in the crotch. So I don't know. I'm on the edge. Keep giveaway. Keep giveaway. You guys tell me, do you keep clothes that are ill-fitted? Even if you, even if I spend some money on them, if they're cheap, expensive, I don't care. If they look ill-fitted and you feel uncomfortable where you have to keep pulling down, like, you know, some tank tops, you have to keep pulling down and make them now where they can actually fit and then long enough. If you got to keep pulling your pants up or got to keep, oh, oh, I can't do that. That's uncomfortable. So you tell me whether I should keep them with a little bit of ill-fittedness or give them away. So that's my dilemma. Help me out. <laughs> I'll show you a couple more things. Okay. And now the next two are jackets. Now, I'm not a big North Face, um, what is this, Columbia jacket wear. But this little jacket I've had for quite some time. They still sell them. I'm not like I wear these when I go out at night. I'm cleaning up around the house. You know, just a jacket to throw on. It's cute. The color's cute. But this is just something I've been holding on saying, oh, yeah, I'll wear it. Or I'll give it to somebody and then I take it back out the bag. And again, it's not my thing. Um... I know a lot of younger people wear them, but it's just not something that I wear on a regular basis. But I'm one. I'm again. I'm. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna use it one day. I'll go outside. I put it on. I have it on. I hate to keep stuff that I'm really not into. I don't want to keep it and hold on. So I've had it for. This is one I've had for quite some time. It's been in the bag, back out of the bag, in the bag, back out of the bag. So help me decide today. Keep or give away. I can wear it in the spring. I can wear it in the fall. But it's not getting worn as much as it should. So help me decide. Leave your comments below. Keep giveaway. And I have one more. A couple of years ago, Gucci was um, with the tigers and the lions and butterflies. And so this jacket, it's not a Gucci jacket, but it was a knockoff version. Not even a knockoff version. It was a version that Forever 21 created. And I saw it and I was like... Oh, this jacket is super cute. It's heavy, nice made. You can see the stitching on it with the tiger. I love cats. I love spring. So it's like a spring look. But it's another thing that's been in my closet for a couple of years. And when I put it on, I'm like, hey, yeah, it's super cute. Um, it's not trendy as much, but cats and butterflies don't have to be trendy. It's spring. And so this is another thing that I... Put in the bag, take out of the bag. Put in the bag, take out of the bag. Because you can ha not have too many blue jean jackets. So, again, the trend of it is that. And that's the reason I bought it. But you cannot have too many blue jean jackets for the spring and the fall. So, you guys tell me whether I should. And you can see it has the flowers on the front. So, it's really cute. It's a cute jacket. I'll give you the back again. It's really cute. And this was another one that kind of didn't fit the correct way but either i'm growing taller or gained some weight or something i don't know i might have grew taller it didn't fit the proper way and so that was one of the reasons i didn't wear the jacket as much as my other blue jean jacket so you guys tell me whether this is a keep or a giveaway it was again one of the ones was in and out of the bag in and out of the bag so and i hate to wear something that i'm not gonna wear all the time i'd rather get my money's worth out of it the jacket i think was like 50 bucks so I haven't gotten my money's worth out of it, so tell me whether I should keep it or give it away. And if you like this video, you guys give me a thumbs up and share and like with your friends and family. And if you're looking for any more tips in beauty and fashion and makeup and lifestyle and any more tips on anything, leave your comments and suggestions below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.